So question number five asks us to simplify this expression. We are going to apply law of indices to deal with this question. Normally, what I used to tell my student is to relate numbers by numbers and letters by letters and separate the square root. So if I were you, this is how I will do it. Relate numbers by numbers. You can see we have 32 here. We have two here. So I will say 32 over two in the square root multiply by you see we have x and x here so i will separate them i will say x power 3 divide by x power 5 and lastly we have um, y to the negative 2 over y to the negative 4 also in square root um, from here we have 32 divided by 2 is 16 so we have square root of 16 times for laws of indices it says when you have common base you see we have the same base x and x and if they are dividing take the power to the top and subtract the power to the bottom which is the same thing as saying 3 minus 5 so this is x you take a single x you see 3 minus 5. Remember, we have square root times. The same thing here, the base are the same y. Take one of them, subtract. We have minus 2 to the top, then you subtract the bottom one, which is minus 4. Square root of 16 is 4. We are moving. 3 minus 5 is minus 2, so we have square root of x to the negative 2 multiply by also square root of um, if you expand this parenthesis minus minus will change it to plus we end up having minus 2 plus 4 which is the same thing as 2 so this is y to the second power naturally you know power of 2 will eliminate the square root so this power will cancel this uh, square root this power will also cancel the square root and we have 4 times x to the power of negative 1 because it is only the 2 that cancel the square root we still have a negative power of 1 but this one is positive it will cancel just direct so this is our final answer but here you can see the apply law of indices that says if you have uh, x raised to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over x. So they transform it into this in such a way we are going to have 4y over x. And now we have no power of x. And it is the last option E from question number 5. Moving on, let us go to the question number 6.